The test match atmosphere at Delhi here at Ellis Park as we go into one might say the second half of this game between the Lions and the Southern Kings. 26 points to 19, the Lions win and all to play for. You can see it's 14 degrees, cooling down to three as the sun drops behind these massive grandstands and it's tense moments all to play for. They've lost all five of their last games and uh, just will have to get back into a winning situation here tonight at all costs. Well, with Dimitri Kachikilis injured, the Southern Kings have had to make a few changes. George Whitehead moves into the number 10 jersey, into the wing situation in the number 14 jersey. Scott Van Bridal, because he's a kicker of note, and then Waylon Murray comes in at number 12. Their forwards have remained the same for a month or two. That's how they will line up in order to nice to see. We did a game at Loftus First Felt just over a month ago and exactly the same pack of forwards appeared that day for the Southern Kings. Well, the Lions have had a pretty good season in terms of wins. I remember they haven't played the top, top sides, but they've done very well. Their winning culture has been pretty good under that all-important away win against the Kings last week. Very set side, but they've also had to make a couple of changes with Dion van Rensburg injured, so Dion Helbach comes in in the right wing position. And also Cronier, the older of the two twins, I believe he won by a couple of minutes there, and he comes in at a scrum half. They will line up like this with, see that uh, Franco van Amerva has been full called up to the Springbok squad, so congratulations to him. Hendrik Ruert seems to perform very well under the coaching of Johan Ackermann. Janse van Rensburg, what a fabulous season he's had and a couple of seasons before he departs for overseas duty. On field will be Robbie, Robbie Kempson right now, Joel Stransky. Just looking through the bench there, a couple of players to look out for, starting with the Southern King, Stephen Sykes has had his injury woes this season. And Nicholas Vigolo, 33 caps for Argentina, will be the two players looking to make an impact. For the MTN Lions, Warren Tecklenburg is a loose forward who stands out given the opportunity. And Marnitz Bosov is a man who played particularly well before Elton Yanchi's return to the fold here at Ellis Park. Well, just looking around the stadium, the red is absolutely tangible. The hostility of the crowd is very much in favour of the home side. And these men will come out and face that hostility with a big challenge ahead of them. They have to win this evening and they have to either stop the Lions from getting a bonus point or they themselves need to get a bonus point. It's all going to go down to the wire. Well, they talked about a sellout, but there's still a whole host of people to come into the ground if it is going to be absolutely packed. But there is a fabulous atmosphere, but to tell you all about it down there, Robbie Kempson. Yes, Stuart, absolutely. You're looking for a hostile crowd. Johan Hackerman has got exactly that. And you can listen as the Kings come out, exactly what they've got to say about it. They really are in full voice with regards to their team and what they want out of them. Well, there's one absolute way to shut the crowd up if you are the visiting team. And Darren Null will have mentioned it to his troops in their last little chat. Get out there and make a good start. And that will be absolutely paramount for the Southern Kings team. A couple of their loose forwards have really shot this man in particular, Vimpi van der Waals, and he's linked well with Jacques Engelbrand and Cornel Dupree. One of the features of this team has been that loose forward trio. Had a decent base in front of them as well. The Type 5 have done pretty well at times. But if you want a Type 5 that is delivered under the auspices of a captain, then this is it. Tracy Jansen van Rensburg, last game as captain. Big smile on his face, embracing the occasion. Well, it's lovely to see a farm boy from Oakdale and the crowd starting to really roar now as they see them coming down the tunnel and just listen to this it's fabulous stuff i do like to see the smile on some of the guys faces it's it's a sense of a grand occasion, it's a real embrace 
of a, of a big challenge and a moment where you can actually look around at this massive crowd, red and white everywhere, and really enjoy a little moment before the, the real battle begins. JC Jans van Rensburg, the captain, playing his last game for the Lions. A couple of guys who have played uh, in similar teams, you've talked about Kevin Bass, who played for the Lions. Franco van der Merwe has come back from the Sharks to join the Lions, caused Mark Bandisa Mark, who was there, Jakob Krill, who's had a very, very good season. Stuart Berry is in the middle of this cauldron. He will be assisted by Jason Yafta and Marius Jonka. The TMO is Sean Falsman, and we're just about ready to go. George Whitehead cast into the number 10 jersey in place of Dimitri Katrakilis. Big responsibility on him. Hendrik Roots had a super season. Here we go. The black clad Southern Kings against the red and black of the Lions. Good chase up by the Kings. So Premier giving it away to Kombrink. Not a bad little doubt by him. The bounce isn't his the greatest for him, so they'll go back for the penalty. Quite clear from Stuart Berry that there was uh, a penalty coming the way of the Lions, but just showing you the tension that is here. It's not a lovely occasion really to be in. It's tense, it's worth millions, and it's a very, very tough situation to be in. And there's a fair bit of pressure on all these players playing for Super Rugby existence in 2014. I'm not sure Johan Ackermann would have liked that little dangerous chip over the top there. Good intent from the Lions, but he spoke before the game about their attention about looking after the ball about keeping it in hand about not letting the opposition have it well Elton Yankees has done the first part of that penalty situation well I'm not sure where the penalty came out it's hard to say it was a pretty decent kickoff I wouldn't be surprised if the Kings chose to kick off chose to chase the Lions back down there chose to try and put them under pressure and get that good start not coming to fruition and the penalty against them Hendrik Ruth, solid at the front of the line-out. Good call by the Lions in a way, just consolidate your line-out. So here he goes again, up against Marku, making a couple of metres. Crowd roaring them on as they will all evening. Trunier, away for Yankees now, to Hanakon. Great tackle out wide. The advantage goes the way of the Southern Kings, knocked on in the tackle. A little bit of a scuffle in the midfield. Hendrik Ruth involved, it was a real strong carry from the big fella, not the tallest lock around that one, about 1 meter 92, but look at this, gets on the charge, gets almost through Bundy Simaka, it takes him about 8 or 10 meters to drag down the big fella, and then stop his Anacom, scored two tries last week, trying to run that outside arc, and uh, well, losing the ball in the tackle, but certainly testing the Kings defense early on, and the, the defense standing resolute so far. Well, Rob, there's quite a weight advantage in the front row there. No, that there is, and this is one of the areas that really the Lions want to try and get the up their hand, particularly through Jason Yance and Rens, really up against Kevin Bass and Scott Ferreira. He's the lucid here for the Kings. He's had a fantastic season in Super Rugby. He's going to want to try and apply his own pressure. Well, Yance van Rens, and Bass, former teammates. Very quickly, uh, Kevin Bass might say, First part of the round to me. And it's all about the barn and getting it up on the impact. It, and losing the barn, going down, easy enough to give the penalty. Whitehead. And a good safe kick. Very the kick. utility back. He's played most of his rugby at full back and then on the wing. Now at fly half. Shows good versatility, doesn't it, to be able to move in from the wing to the number 10 slot. Loads of pace, loads of skill. The young man he has, has embraced the challenge of playing in the number 10 shirt. Van Dissamaki used to play in it in his far. Good take there from Darren Nell. Whitehead. And then they go down that middle via uh, Cornel Dupria. Comes quickly for Fenter. Good ball for him away for Engelbrecht. Fenter again. Whitehead. 
Is that uh, going to be well weighted? And Tremier had to get across there. And the line out will go the way of the Kings, I would think. To answer your question, it is perfectly weighted, the little dad too. Grenier did well to get across. Waited for the ball to go into touch. It didn't go into touch. He had to collect it and make a touch and got pushed out. Look at this. It's almost a bit of backspin on that. It just sits up now. The chase was good. And into touch goes Grenier. And the Kings will have a really perfect opportunity to set that mall and try and drive the Lions back over their own goal line. Well, they've got uh, Vimpy van der Valt in the scrum half position there, you see. So their scrum half has fallen back. They go to Dupree. And that's very disappointing for the Kings. It's an aggressive jump at the front of the line out from one of the Lions line jumpers. Look at this. Up they go. It's almost like the ball is taken. And then in the tackle. Well, it's uh, well, there might uh, be a little argument there that Warren Whiteley was interfering in the air. Well, Stuart Berry said the first infringement there, Joel, was not in straight. Not in straight, of so course. That was, real uh, sacrilege, that, isn't it? Absolutely. Opportunity spurned from the Kings. I said beforehand that it would be important for them to start well. They've had a decent start, but little errors like that have cost Touch. them what could have been a great start. Touch. Well, it's a power scrum by the Kings. Difficult one at the back of the lineup, but they get it away there to Anthony Full Mink. Not bad distance, well taken by Marais. Come out, and is that too deep? It's Trenier who is under it and Parks competed brilliantly in the air there. Knocked on and away comes Kornbrunk. And Marais under pressure and not a good bounce for the Kings fullback. Super clearance. Great courage from Hadley Parks as he went up above Cronier. Couldn't hang on. And of course, so important to get up there, not to allow the mark and the free clearance. Be careful the locks, guys. Unfortunately for the Kings, the clearance was even better. Right in front of you, Rob. A lot of needle. Oh, there definitely is. A bit of edge to this game. The players getting fully involved in that physical it is well taken and well controlled by the southern kings marku in position to fenter not far enough on the hoist but well taken there by fumbra die involved fenter whitehead neat hands cook a good chance on the outside for maria and the kings happy to stay down in Lions territory. Interesting contrast in styles at the moment. It's the Kings who move the ball across, push the Lions back, the little kick throughs into space, finding the touchline, but making sure that the Lions start from deep. Lions on the other end would love to get their hands on the ball and build some continuity, build a few phases and try and really stretch that defence a little bit. There's the man who's been called up to the screen by squad, Franco van der Martin Bezaitenau. Again going to Ruet, who was able to snatch that ball right around the, his midriff. The drive on here by the Southern Kings. Crenier, Whiteley. Good drive by Derek Minnie behind Warren Whiteley. Now Crenier has a useful boot on him. Taken by uh, Parks. The way for Marais. He's got a lot of pace as Marin. They've got men on the outside. Well on Murray. Ronnie Cook has got probably the most pace of a lot of them. Good cover by Dylan Des Fountain. Flag goes up. And it is that of Jason Yafta. The crowd are not enjoying that decision. It's a good little effort from one or two of the Kings players to drag the ball carrier and to touch Dylan Des Fountain was the man who got tackled awfully close to the touchline after the pass came to him. Well, no, we don't see him passing all that much, but he's passed pretty well there. Freed up some space on the outside. Is the ball in touch? That is the big question. Mm, probably not. Crowd may well have an argument. So territorially, the first few minutes going the way of the Southern Kings. Fenta, nicely taken again by Whitehead. Not the greatest pass in the world, though. Then popped up and went to Fabridar. 
Parks has taken the ground pretty quickly. Continuity is good. He has Van der Vault. Hard working flanker all season. Fenter, way for base. Good. Well, good idea by the front ranker, not the execution that he wanted. Waylon Murray, good load. Can tackle him by the Lions. Fenter, Whitehead. Oof, and Van der Merwe very nearly got onto it. Van der Merwe has it. The Van der Velt goes Release to ground with seven. it. The penalty going the way of the Southern Kings. Derek Minnie called out by referee Stuart Berry. He is a man who gives away a lot of penalties, Derek Minnie. He was maybe a little unfortunate there. He had his hands on the ball. Even if he'd wanted to release, he was being dragged over the top by the counter ruck of the Southern Kings. Couldn't get away from it. So there were one or two little loose passes in this passage of play. Well tidied up eventually by Vimpy van der Velt. Pressure came from Mini. Now he's got a release and look, he gets pulled over the top in a, by SP Maria. It's not exactly what Jan Ackerman thinks of that. I just about to broke the desk there. Scott yes. van Breda with all the pressure in the world for the youngster. Hasn't played at this level an awful lot in his young career. So he's been brought in the, into the side to take on this responsibility. They've asked the crowd to observe demeanor. They've ignored that. And Scott van Breda launches it brilliantly. And it's first blood to the Southern Kings. I was watching Scott van Breda as he kicked it. He looked one little glance up, picked up the kicking tee and headed back. Super strike. That kick had been from 60 meters, it would have gone over. Probably on the balance of things so far, just reward for the Kings. Elton Anches is not really at the ball so far. Conrad, I remember him actually touching it. I think he had one penalty that uh, kick off, not gained the intended direction for the young man who apologizes turned 23 just two days ago 23 it seems like he's been around for five or six years oh he's scuffed the ground there it's a little it bit a of a scuff. Scuff. it's a duff <laughs> the golfers out there will be saying they caught it fat well it's a good attacking option not a scrum for the kings but space on both sides ronnie cook has come all the way over to the left hand side to to join scott from the goal With it from Stuart Berry, got to get right in between the two gaps, can't have head on head. Also, on both those front rows, absolutely steady before he calls the engage. But surely there was a lot of that stuff locked Cuts. head on head. Oh no, most definitely. <laughs> but more than that, I think. Center, right head. Well, they're doing a fair amount of territorial kicking. Are the Southern Kings Combrook? has hoisted it back infield again moved midfield to Moray advantage again to the Southern Kings the midfield of the Lions offside so all the pressure coming from the Southern Kings at the moment the Lions have got a major problem as well Ruan Combrink is limping badly and I think he's just given the signal to the physio or the doctor that he's going to have to come off which will mean I would imagine that probably Marnus Borsov would come on, wouldn't he? Well, Prisanda Burta. Well, Prisanda Burta, who has played in the World Cup in the back trio. You see it there. Just walking gingerly as he's kicked it. So, it's got Mandegal over from the right wing. We'll have another opportunity. If he strikes this one half as well as he struck the one before, it's going to finish way up in the grandstand at the back.
no problem with distance straight down the field so a full angle at the post he struck it well again high and handsome it's a very good start this for the kings everything they would have wished for to get early points on the ball to play the game down in the lions territory to have put the lions under a bit of pressure look at that super kicking action great strike he's bending down he's picked up the tee and he's headed back so in the overall situation the Lions are hit by one point well taken there by Engelbrecht now first time the Lions in Kings territory Whitehead oh and another penalty given away by the Lions Alan Solomon spoke before the game about some of the decisions against the Kings last week maybe being a little bit tough at the moment they are getting the rub of the green. Four penalties the Lions have conceded, only one against the Kings. It really is poor discipline though from these Lions players, and in particular Derek Mooney. Renowned for it though, isn't he, Robbie? Oh, there he is. A good safe kick by Whitehead, that's all they require. Take it into Lions territory and have the line out. Tracy Janssen van Rensburg was just having a little bit of a moan to Stuart Berry about the penalty. I think the discipline is obviously playing on his mind a little bit. Good neat line-out work using Cornel de Trier. Whitehead. And that looks a little bit forward, but Guayla Murray's made some ground. Ball's available. Center. The Lions not buying the dummy as Bulbrin was just running off the side now Thunderbolt using their forwards to good effect of the Kings and relief one might say for the Lions at this stage of the game we've had 16 minutes no to reload. Was the man who was behind the ball carrier good strong leg drive supporting Scott Ferreira the team to have gone straight to ground so somewhat uh, of relief for the Lions. We saw a couple of important kicks for touch missed this morning in the Super Rugby final. No mistake this time from Elton Nanchis. Straight over the top is ultimately the call. I'm not sure how you can avoid it if you are the, uh, the driver behind the ball carrier. I've never, I've never known how they avoid that. Very clinical in the way they've walked to the line out, slow and clinical. Quite likely that they will go to Franco van der mid line out. Decide what's happening, Jeff. You said it. Thank you. You stay up there now. Keep your gap black, don't feed. Martin Bezaitnout, Warren White again up and free kick booking says the referee. So straight away JC Jans van Rensburg is just trying to calm down his forward pack. Obviously a few nerves out there at the moment. It's a free kick so they can't kick directly into touch. Now who's going to take it? It's Hellbach. Good chase up there by Van der Vault. And he can't be doing that, Franco van der Merwen. Tackled off the ball, Don't one of the Kings like players. Red, off your feet. And the ill-discipline really haunting the home side at the moment. Well, if this goes over, one might say that the Southern Kings are now in the lead in terms of the overall situation. There's a the little bit of a book. Book. And there's Franco from the Mavis in discretion, making a good tackle on Darnell. The only problem is he didn't have the ball. Textbook for the kids out there at home. Shoulder down, head behind. Just make sure your opponent's got the ball. Well, I must say, I've been impressed with Scott van Breda, his confidence and the way he's struck the ball. So far, proving 
a good asset in terms of bringing him into the side. Another good strike. Is that going to go over now a little bit wide? But just marginally. I think he'll be a little bit disappointed, Scott Van Bredard. Possibly his easiest kick so far. Just off to the right. He's not a young man that gets flustered very easily, Scott Van Bredard. And he put that behind him. And next job will come into play. Young Keys. So the advantage to the Lions, Trinier with the kick ahead, and the Waikou was up there very quickly. And Scott Van Der Bell did pretty well to take that at the end, not take a big tapper from Warren Whiteley. So much so that Stuart Berry said there's no advantage, back they go. 20 minutes in. Awfully tight at the moment, isn't it? In terms of who would go through right now, and it's still the Lions in lead. Overall, well, a quarter of the game gone. The territory, uh, the possession situation 67 percent to the Southern Kings territorially. Joe, it looks like what's Cuts. about 67 percent as well. 77 70. down in the, well, in the Lions half. The scrums so far, Robbie Kempson, have been a little bit of a mess. No, that they have been just hitting straight down and going through. Good to reset that one. Scott Ferreira has really got to take that impact as soon as it comes through. He's going to try and get the, his side of the scrum up. Did that very well on the previous scrum, just five meters out from the lines. Six. Six. Well, eventually the lines get in the up hand. From here, making some ground. Tackle by Whitehead, worked away nicely, away to Yankees, now it's with Hanakon. And, oh, coming up was Halbert, and he would vote. I don't think they see, saw Cassandra Buerta looming up there. Martin Mazet knows that pretty well. This is for Monk. Hold. Nicely away to Whiteley, now with Hendrik Ruert, who will barge at the opposition. Strong tackling by Jacques Engelbrecht. Advantage to the Lions head high or above the shoulder of Judges Stuart Perry. Stock is on two tries last week, but a little lateral at the moment. Maybe needs to straighten, draw a man and release it to a bit of sp sp space and speed on the outside. Cassandra Butter is looming. Certainly a, an opportunity for the Lions. This is the high tackle, just a little bit high. From Engelbrecht, Ruet took it well though. Two big men now, yeah, this is a big collision. Well, it's been a feature of the Southern Kings games this season. The performance, particularly on defence of their loose trio. Duplier, Van der Walt and Engelbrecht. Not had much ball so far this afternoon, Alton Yankees, and He'll be looking forward to getting a bit more ball inside this line structure. It's a structure that suits his play. Didn't quite shine as much as he would have liked down in the Cape playing for the Stormers this season. He'll be relishing the chance to play in a slightly more structured environment with Johan Akam and his coach. So just the two steps, a la the very successful Percy Montgomery when he came back from Wales. It's amazing that you build up the momentum. One, two. Bang and drifting just wide and a little bit short off here. Whitehead nicely taken and well dispatched. Beautiful kick by him. Quickly taken in for Duerta now with Mini. He'll dash at the opposition. Base uh, just slipped the first tackle, did Mini. Trinia to scramble up, so it's worked out. And Scott Ferreira. Penalised. A lot of penalties at the moment in this game. Stuart Berry. Offside, interfering in the scrum last track. Not, uh, not going too easy on the discipline. Certainly a man who knows the laws of the game and he 
applies them properly. It's coming back to Elton Hutchins' kicking action, that two-step. You know, you look at it and Percy was incredibly accurate, as is Elton Hutchins, but the longer kicks do become a little bit of a problem. Not enough momentum in the kicking action to build real power. But this is a man who, who gets that momentum and that power going quickly. Derek Minnie with a good strong carry and then slightly, slight interference was the call against Scott Ferreira. Well, it was right in front of the referee that he just moved uh, in Trunia's way. Well taken by Van der Marva. Good drive up by the Southern Kings. You're playing with great verve here this evening, but now the Lions starting to just get into gear a little bit via Whiteley. Eventually it's Waylon Murray who's called in to make the tackle. Lions will need it quickly. Trunia, Yankees. Oh, we got it over the top and then forward passed it to a Southern Kings player. I think it was Ronnie Cook. Fenta. And booted away well by Parks who had covered over very well from the left wing position. The former Auckland Blues player. And of course under pressure he made sure he got it out. There's the little forward pass from Elton Yankees. Try to step inside, try to find a little bit of space, try to make the little pop pass behind the defender's back, but body angle just not quite good enough to ensure it went backwards. Well very much of one might say a 50-50 pass in that situation. Up goes Whiteley. Down for Yaku Creel. I want to try and form a bit of a mall here. Will the Lions have got something going pretty well? Tunia. Yankees. Dears Fountain. Buerta. Not a bad little job by Buerta. It's all about pace now and run into touch by Van Breda. Good cover by the right winger. Had the presence of mind too not to kick it into the crowd or give away a silly penalty by ensuring that the quick line couldn't be taken. It's a little dink for himself here, I think, from Rosanda Boetta because the winger had come in from the right hand side, Dion Helberg. Good attacking position. The Lions Mall is a strong one. It's well structured, it gets well organized. They get a good counter shove and a good secondary shove. The Kings will have to be careful here not to give away the penalty. Well, they can get them all it's going. we we'll come back for numbers. Seven versus six. So, Ross Cronier just saying, let's calm it down a little bit. But the Lions wanted to go via Derek Mini. Now, they're getting it going towards the goal line. Cronier had to commit. Good Take defense by the Southern Kings. Take it in by Red. Take it in by Red. That is Guy Cronier who was snuck onto the field at some point. Well, Ross Cronier was looking very uncomfortable a little earlier, so the twin took over. So injury was early on now for the Golden Lions. Ron Combrink is off with an ankle injury. Ross Cronier is off and the Lions are held up here on the, on the attack. And because it's a mall, it'll be the Kings put in. Some welcome relief for them. Well, Guy Cronier, who has played most of his rugby at fly half to the service of his twin brother. You can see just from Johan Ackermann's expressions there, Swayze to Brain with him as well, just how tense this situation is. They said it was a sellout. I can tell you this place isn't jam packed. There's a great crowd though. And it's a vociferous crowd. They're up on their feet, they're making a noise, they're trying to spur their team on their team are just wanting a little bit at the moment they trail by six points to nil but haven't quite hit their straps yet haven't quite got their fluid momentum going one but might it. think that kevin base just bought a little bit of time there yeah, just so. a little lie professional down. professional yeah. line out to gather the oxygen to, i say that tongue-in-cheek but it, it probably is correct Coming up from the coast, Robbie, the yeah, feeling yeah. of altitude as well. I'm just having a go at our props again. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> the props are sensitive, <laughs> fellas, eh? Oh, the cuddly fellas. We do need a break now and then. Cuts! Now, this is an important scrum for the Kings in Cuts! terms of just 
holding Set. it as steady as possible. The Lions will want to apply the pressure. Fent has done well away from Marais and that's a very good defensive play by the Southern Kings. It's great defensive play and the ball from Sean Fenter to Marais was a little bit across him. It forced him out a bit wider but it took him away from the defenders onto that left foot and the kick was absolutely superb. Much better scrum from the Lions back as well. Putting a bit of pressure on the Kings there. Which makes the clearance difference better than it should be. Ruet. David Bullpen would you know the Lions line-out situation having spent some time here. Lions building up to the advantage in terms of this small situation and another penalty, almost the same position the Dalton Yankees missed from earlier. It's going to be fun of all to I notice that the, the last ball from the line out, maybe not the one on the goal line, but the one certainly across on the far side. The Kings trying to drive that Lions ball towards the touchline. It was very apparent here. Number seven in from the side, Wimpy Funnevolt. But two supporting him, Darren Null and David Goodwin, were trying to pull the small towards the touchline. Look at that. There's. Is that, uh, that's Darren Null pulling on, Goodwin helping, pulling it towards the touchline, trying to drive it into touch. And the line's still persisting with that two ball, which makes it easier, as you said, Joe, to drive it towards the touchline. And it's a pretty chilly evening out there, Robbie, and this kick. It was short last time. It's going to make better contact. Plenty of advice. They have a little habit of some of the faithful pointing at the posts. Well, they know where they want it to go, that's for sure. Perfect view of it here at Ellis Park. It's a much better strike, he picks up the tee, the Lions are on the board after half an hour. Still it only just snuck over, distance is a little bit of an issue with the short run up but it's a good strike and good value. The Lions in the last 10 minutes or so have controlled the ball a lot better, they now have 56% of the possession, the territorial advantage is gone, it's almost all square much better period for the home side deep by Whitehead a strong chase by Ronnie Cook taken by Dion Helbach gets rid of Cook comes on the outside and does some good defensive work from the kickoff by Dion Helbach who took over from Dion van Rensbach the very experienced winger for the Lions for the last couple of seasons he also had the presence of mind not to try and kick a a high kick which may well have been charged down on the angle but to just put it on the boot grab it and still earn 25 or 30 meters taken by bull bring center whitehead they've got loose forwards in midfield but cook gets good pace by the newt cop graduate isolated and the Lions have done well on defence this time. Just get the impression that the tide is turning slightly. Yeah, very much so. And I think quite possibly on that occasion it turned because the Kings just ran away, drifted away on the angle, away from all support. The players that would normally have been there to support had run dummy lines inside, which meant Ronnie Cook was all on his own. Outside him he had Scott Van Der Daar, but no match for a steaming Lions defence. Touch judges, flag is up. Marius Jonk with a very experienced referee. This was Ronnie Cook, great tackle. Look at this, Van der Gaal was up a bit flat on the outside as well, which meant Cook was isolated by himself for a long time. There's no way he was going to be able to hold on to the ball for that long. Stokies Hanakom who made the tackle. Ronnie Cook who's graduated to the vice-captaincy of this Southern Kings side. Franco van der Merwe, the most experienced player in that Lions pack in terms of rugby at this level guys you've got a mark I don't want you keeping over I understand if you continue to keep over he's going to follow you okay so you stay half a meter away and let's expect him to do the same there's your mark 
You see a lot of teams at the lineouts trying to create a little bit more space by opening the gap and picked up this time by Stuart Berry. Good take at the lineup there by Hendrik Ruert, who's now sharing his pack on with Jakub Kliel at the back. Tried doing their bit as well, they're about 15 metres out. Now Derek Mini, the advantage is with the Lions once again. Mini trying to grapple it in field a little bit. There's the five metre line, it's been taken oh. to ground. Now Janse van Rensberg, great stopping there by Engelbrecht. Tronier, here comes Jakub Kriel. Well stuffed there by Whitehead, who nearly ripped the ball. Diving over, you go back there. Spectator trial, but diving over was the call from Stuart Berry, going back for the original penalty. Collapsing the ball, he's going to have a word, surely a little warning. Just to explain, you haven't got the advantage because red is four or five, is straight off his feet. Again, the Kings trying to work that ball towards the touchline and hence the penalty coming in from the side. It looked like Skull Ferreira on this occasion, one boot. But still using that strength to, okay. to drive it. You need to make it clear and obvious that you're coming from the back okay. and that it's a fair contest at the mall. Okay, I don't believe it's fair at the moment. Okay. We need to sort out the side entry at the mall. Can I, can I have a second? You may have a second. So the Lions with the bulk of possession all of a sudden. Oh, that has changed. Still with the Southern Kings in terms of territory. Great to see the home crowd on their feet in that far corner, urging on the home team, urging on them all. Showing great composure, Darren Null as a captain and as a leader. Just saying to Stuart Berry, can I have a moment? He's had a quick word. Just looks calm, looks organised as a captain. Nice to see. Well, the Lions forwards have all remained down in that area of the, of the, of the park. And one wonders, are they going to kick for touch here? Are we going to have another controversial situation like we had at the Bulls last week? Take your points, is the call of most of the pundits. Well, well I think this is slightly different. The mall is working, the Kings are on a warning because of the way they defended the mall. Last week the Bulls never really got the mall going. The Brumbies defended it superbly. The, the only pressure was on the Bulls last week. This time it's really firmly entrenched on the Kings. Root once again. Well, it's a great counter drive by the Southern Kings. No doubt. See the old flag out by Marius Jonker there. And here goes Janse van Rensburg. Can he score? Captain's Please. time. No, he can't. Jedlin has driving no, forward. No. Trenier there, now it's with Mini, driven by Jakub Kriel. They're over the line, I think he might have touched that down. They'll go to the TMO, I think. I've got a feeling he may have just Let's whipped that onto the there. grass for a second there. Just release it and walk away. But it's fast, furious and tense. Well, that's a good bit of sustained pressure. Okay. I want to deal with this first and then I'll come to you. Sean? Yes, David. I don't have a grounding. Can you please look trial or no try? Try or no try. So try or no try. Nice simple call from Stuart You'll Berry. That's the way it should be. Listen, as many grounded in, it, so but there is a flag first, still. And then afterwards, depending what it is, we'll then deal with the flag. Okay. Well, so the referee is going to listen to the TMO. Then he's okay. going to go over to Marius Jonka. So this is the decision he has to make. Mini in possession. Doesn't matter what Still it is, in possession. Got a flag in, so I need to deal with that straight after, so don't go into my He's not sure, grounded at there, he's, gro call. he's grounded at short. To be fair to Stuart Berry, he's in the absolute per perfect position. He sees that first attempt where it's maybe grounded short, and then he's in the position to see that it's held up second time. Oh, there it's grounded. That looks Steven. like it's going to be a try. You know you the try. Right, thank you. Hold on. So now, was there foul play and by who? We're happy with the grounding. I no, do have a flag. He said the call was against that. Black. Okay, so you're flagging. Number seven, Black yes. clearly took out a player while he wasn't here. Okay. Um, you need to decide whether the warning is going to be. Cool. 
It is a try. Well, the try has not been seven. given. Elton Yankees has placed the ball. The Lions yeah. have all gone back over the You've halfway line. Few times now, okay? The Southern You're Kings are very nice discipline wise. We need to sort that more out. Meandering back behind the goal line. Try given. Listen to the crowd now. We said it a couple of minutes ago. Is it the changing of the tide for turning of momentum? This is a great counter shot from the Southern Kings. And then the Lions got their composure back. Look at this. Here comes this massive shot from the Kings. Then came the composure. And then came JC Jansen van Rensburg. Captain extraordinaire. Followed by many. He's grounded it there. The try awarded. No doubt he's got it down. No doubt it's a try. No doubt the home fans are starting to feel a little bit happier with this scenario at the moment. Yeah, now come on, we'll be a little bit happier as well. So, oh, Elton Yankees has missed it. I was about to say successful by Yankees, but the flag stayed down from almost point-blank range. This is a good drive up here from Derek Brennan, and more so also from the effort from Jakub Grill getting him over the line and finally just dotting it down the Lions edge in front. Dion Helbach, who Does, uh, doesn't need to bang the desk anymore, does he? Done pretty well on defence, and you saw Alvin Hollenbach's joy there when uh, they scored. Yankees. Will he be ruining that? relatively easy miss at the conversion he seems to have put it out of his mind because that is a fine clearance teams often coaches and captains and teams often speak about scoring just before the break and just after the break in this tight contest to score just before the break particularly for the home team who are under pressure it's just massive psychologically it will most certainly put them in the right frame of mind. On Dissemark, finding Nell. Wimpy van der Waals in position. Fenta. Worked for Formunk. And has that been knocked on? Oh, I think that might have been offside there. It was a situation. Waylon Murray. Nice little switch to Cook. Good tackle there from Van der Merwe. Now Whitehead. And Yankees calls. Yeah, they were knocked on and then offside by one of the Lions players. Martin de Zayton had the guilty partner. Scott Van Bedar might be thinking could he not have given it for the second penalty it's where the knock on came and offside there's Martin Bezaden who moved forward and attempted to play the ball second penalty a smack bang out in front and a little bit closer just telling about scoring before the break could well be the Southern Kings who go in and half time of the a marginal lead, certainly not big enough to win the overall contest, but good enough to put them ahead on, on the evening. And in a close contest like this, it's going to go down to the wire, isn't it? Well, a super view of the kick here, and it's a good strike, curling in beautifully. The Kings are back in the lead. Penalties conceded nine against the Kings. Only five against the Lions. It's a whole different scenario than it was a few minutes ago. Maria well tackled by Helbach. Last Centre. Whitehead. Oh, oh, oh. 
Duerta very quickly in for Yankees. Chase will come from Warren Whiteley. Duerta is also up there, beautifully taken by Whitehead and got away. Oh, he has a little slip and uh, that was quick thinking by Moran. He was in real trouble and then slammed it over, well, almost like the dead ball line. So good reactions and Stuart Berry brings to an end a very very tense 40 minutes of rugby very tense swinging and momentum it started off particularly well for the Kings the Lions came back but Robbie Kemp's on his pitch side Warren Whiteley quite tense out there definitely you know it's a tough battle uh, working hard but yeah close game we just gotta um, just gotta get the points when we're there so yeah it's been good and the driving ball is working a trick for you Definitely, you know, that's where we want to dominate to get the front foot ball. So, yeah, we're just going to stick to what we're doing. Thanks, Rob. <laughs> well, an exhausted Warren Whiteley. And so, well, whose game is this going to be? Who will stay in Super Rugby? We'll know in the next 40 minutes. <laughs>
Welcome back to Ellis Park. The Kings came up firing in the early part of the game, dominating position, dominating territory, and won themselves a few penalties. Wimpy van der Valt, very hard working flank forward along with Cornel de Pria and Engelbrecht and the Lions infringing. And Van der Daar stepping up to the mark. Great strike to start it. Look at that splat bang down the middle and it went long. It could have been a 60 metre Lions again giving away the penalty and at the same time Ruin Combrink showing signs of a bit of wear and tear. He was off the field shortly after that. But Van der Daar just carried on slotting them with great ease. He didn't well, miss eventually one. the Lions got back into the Kings or got into the Kings half, should we say, and uh, started their mauling, which was very good, winning a penalty. Yankees having missed one spot on this time. The Lions again using the maul to good effect, and then the two flankers combining to force Derek Mini over. Went upstairs just for confirmation. It first looked as if Mini was short. The ball juggled a little on, so on top of his chest and tummy. And then he stretched over and grounded a try for the Lions. Well, the knock on there by uh, Full Mink and then played from the knock on by a Lions player. Van Bidra stepping up to the mark once again. Really impressive place kicking by the youngster and the Queen enjoys. That made the score nine points to eight to the visitors they still trail overall but just looking through what has happened so far this afternoon possession favoring the lines they didn't have that stat in their favor early on discipline for both teams a little bit of an issue 14 penalties in all only 32 tackles made in the whole game five missed by the kings not a flowing game so far it must be said a lot of tactical kicking a lot of pressure rugby and altogether one of these sides will have to step up big time in the second half take the the game by the scrap of the horns and make Super Rugby 2014 their own.
be tense situation indeed. Robbie Kempson's doing the interviews. Come on, change in tactics in the second half. No, not really, Robbie. The thing that is disappointing is we haven't played rugby. You know, we haven't even started one of our patterns going, and so we're just going to have to start playing. Discipline letting you down in that first half? Well, that was the biggest message this uh, break, you know, it's that we gave nine points away just off poor discipline. All the best for the second. Thanks, Robbie. So you can see, Joel, just how tense Johan Ackermann is. Well, it's, a, it's, a, it's everything at stake, isn't it? There's no other way of putting it. Interesting to hear him say we haven't started playing rugby. The, the number of tackles made so far is an indication that neither team has really played rugby. The Kings this season, they've hung in there, they've been gutsy, they've defended like Trojans, but they've not had a, a real great attacking force. The Lions this evening are yet to get going on the attacking front. So here we go, 40 minutes, everything to play for. Dupree. Booted away by Whitehead. Yankees. Forced to his left foot, wasn't he? Whitely in, oh, and he's lost it in the tackle, and uh, that thing so has ball bring. First knock here. Second knock there. Just be aware if you're in front An of the opportunity him. there for the Kings to counter. Was it uh, Kevin Bass who knocked it on there? Yeah, it was. Uh, Got one on the jaw there, did Elton Lanches. He's not had a hugely productive evening so far, has he? Struggled a little bit with his form down in Cape Town, playing for the Stormers. Obviously, the, the change of environment, also not an easy thing to handle. Switching game plan, switching tactics, different way of thinking from the coaching staff, different players around. Not quite hitting the, the form we know he's capable of at the moment. Been a lot of collapsed scrums this evening, Ravi. That they have been just getting their binds up and also. The surface is actually very slippery, so this time both of them are losing their binds at the same time. Is there dew on the ground around there, Rob? No, it definitely is nice and chilly down here, Uncle Hugh. There's a cold down there, Robbie. <laughs> <laughs> very much so. Thanks, John. How's the aircon going? It's nice and warm up there. Touch! Touch! Six! No replacements as yet on the field for the King's Power Scrum by the Lions has turned the ball around. JC Janser van Rensburg, how he will be missed in the Absa Curry Cup. And the backs running in to give the forwards a half five. A little good change in momentum there. Big strong scrum. As a back, this is what you want to see from your forwards. Well, it's solid from JC. He's going to be missed when he goes to Bayonne at the end of this game. And he's showing his worth. Just missing on the high five there. Well, Elton Yankees has uh, taken a knock. They've just been spoken to by the medical staff. They may be tempted to bring Marnath Vorsoff onto the field. The only problem with that is that they've already put two of their backline players onto the field due to injury, so they've only got the one left in Marnath Vorsoff. Good point. Matt Sexton. Tough times. Johanna Kaman, Swiss De Brain on the right hand side of your screen. Stressful environment being a coach, isn't it? Well, only two types of coaches one who's just been fired and one who's about to be fired. You can just see it written all over their faces what this game means to. Both sets of coaches, both Touch. sets of players, and Six. both sets of fans. Well, far side, I would say and there may well have been a call by the referee's assistant. More high fives all around for the Lions forwards. Never got the bind up to Scott Ferreira. Well, I always think it's such a difficult situation to, if it does happen, to give away three points. Out of scrum. It's tough on the front rankers. 
was interesting watching some of the APSA Curry Cup in the last day or so with the new scrum law being applied and how, how much softer that hit is and how, how more convenient it is to get the bind up which makes it a proper contest in the scrum so the call will be in future crouch bind set which means that bind is there from the start we should have less collapse scrums and the scrums that are real good strong scrummages will get the advantage so elton yankees to give the home side just a teeny weeny bit of breathing space oh well you can see for yourselves it's another three points to the lions and that'll do elton matches his confidence the world of good make his coach relax a little bit and allow these players to just build a bit of momentum take the points when you can get ahead get far enough ahead that one score is not going to lose the game for you lose the contest for you well the loudspeaker is booming out tonight's going to be a good night a good good night who will it be for taken to ground by anthony formack guy Cremier, yankees whitely Oh, it, it, running it inside their own 22 and they put her back away. The best movement of the game for the Lions. Trunia, Yankees, giving it a, expanse. Now to Van der Merwe from Van Rensburg. The King's defence under pressure here. Trunia, Yankees, they're lining up here, the Lions. Whiteley once again. Whiteley continues the move. Strong handoff. There we go. Vav to Sander Buerta. Problems for the Kings here. Beautifully taken in by Cornell Dupria. But it comes on the line. So they drive for the line. And what does the referee say? They will go to the TMO in the form of Sean Feltzman. Yeah, Nakaman must be the most excited man in the stadium right now. He asked his team to start playing the game. You've got the knock on by Black, am I right? Hold up. We go back here to knock on from Black Six. Scrum. Well, no need to go upstairs. Jason Yafta and Stuart Berry making the decision. Knock on from Black Six it was. What a little passage of play though. This is how it finished off. Held up is the call. Let's go, Jackie please. Krill is held up there by the look of things. Joel, it's what I like about Jason Yafta as well. Line. He makes decisions very well. He's on the line tonight. He's certainly an up and coming South African referee. And in the right place. He's a very fit young referee as well. He was right there chasing down. And Let's of course, go, it was a counter attack all the way from the Lions' own well, trial line. Line. The handling was slick, the movement good, the chip over the top was a good one. And the Kings are under enormous pressure now. Well, the inside backs of the Lions having a bit of a committee meeting. I think first prize will be the scrum though. They've had two exceptionally good scrums on their own ball, one on the Kings ball. And I think that going for the eight-man shove might be in order. You think they can take it five meters, Rob? Not so sure about that, but certainly they'll put their effort into it. Well, there's an early shot there somewhere along the line. The penalty goes the way of the Lions. Number one, out and in. And before the ball. Number one, out and in. Back you go, please, one. Well, here we go again with the penalties going against the front rankers. Got six boys in the, on the park who are having their own match. It's always that way, isn't it? The front rows. This is where the penalty comes out and in is the call. Scott Ferreira, the man penalised for driving Julian Redling Ace inwards. No surprise, Shots. the Lions have gone for another scrum. Shots. Not often that Shots. this happens where they take a scrum and look at this. Is that scrum going to disintegrate again? There could be a penalty try situation here. Number three. No, the penalty given to the Lions, but if it happens again, it's on the cards for the Lions. Kevin Bass, the man penalised here. Captain. 
penalty is not against you, so please move back from the line. Committee meeting going on amongst the Lions tackle forwards. We talk about a momentum shift. The scrums have really done that for the Lions. The turnover scrum in the middle of the field, and now all the pressure on this Kings pack just five meters out. Well, it's quite amazing, Rob, how we talk about it year after year. And people saying, well, maybe the scrum isn't becoming as important and that sort of thing. But ultimately it really really does become a major factor in the game and gives those big burly quick lads like you rob the opportunity to make an impact but it certainly does we came down to rob kimson on field side yeah, sitting here with alvin holmbach alvin how are things going out there for you well, rob it is um, nerve-wracking i mean it's this game is all about pressure um, no one's giving in. It's a clash. And then running from your own try line, clearly a tactic that you guys are using. Yeah, I mean that that's the way we play, and I'm lucky the guys throwing the ball around again. Um, they're looking good. They must just keep the ball. Half-time chat from uh, Ian Ackerman must be quite a serious one. Yeah, no, definitely. I mean, this is uh, um, w we have to win it, uh, do or die. So yeah, <laughs> let's just go and do it. Tell me the table upstairs. How often does that get replaced? Sorry. The table that he breaks upstairs, how often does that get replaced? Yeah, yeah I think every second game. <laughs> the oldest man ever to play rugby for South Africa, Johan Ackermann. What a record to have, I think it's absolutely fabulous. A lot of effort has gone into creating that longevity from his side. He's looked after himself well. He's looking after this Lions team well as well. Well, the continuous roars. Derek Minnie moves to the number eight position in the Lions pack. Might just be adding that extra oomph. So the problem we have for the Lions is Warren Whiteley's finger popped out. We saw them trying to pull it and put it back in as the handbags come out. You need to control your emotions. And that is why Derek Minnie is at number eight. He's got two hands and all his fingers working. Where can't tell you, just look at it, finger is incredibly painful. Warren Whiteley on the near side. Watch when the scrum goes down now. Steps away and shakes his hand again. Oh, look at that. Real pain. They need to bind it up alongside the other finger. Don't step back now. It might help a little, but I'm, the pain's still going to be there. The Mexican wave coming from the crowd, the Lions have got the upper hand, the referee shouted lose it, the players can't possibly hear that as Ingebrecht bursts away, brilliant play by the number eight, relieved the pressure for the Southern Kings, now Fenta, Whitehead, long one for Ronnie Cook, now away to Marais, this is a great breakout, is that out on the full, and Marais slams his thighs in frustration, but what a break out there by Jacques Engelbrecht. A little bit of a messy scrum against Stuart Perry said use it. Number four. The Kings were first to react. It's a real strong scrum to start with Robbie. Now that it was and just pops out the end just the control at the back. And this is fantastic run from the man they call Flace. Well Flace got going yeah forced a, eventually a decent tackle from Dion Halberg. This ball that came out now should have just gone through the hands. The one long skip pass just allowed the defence to shift. And then SP Marais kick. A foot the wrong side of the touchline, but a costly mistake. Well, I don't know how the players can hear one another. We've got it to Hendrik Root quickly down for the more familiar mall that the Lions form at just about every line out now. Trunier, Yankees. Grabbed, one might say, by Whitehead. Comes for Premier again. No runners there, so had to go at his on his own. Keeping it at close quarters are the Lions. Mini, Root, barges at Waylon Murray. Comes quickly for the Lions. Good ball away for Yankees. Now it's with Chrisanda Boita. Lions still keeping up the momentum. Good counter shove there by Cornel Dutria. And Fenta, oh, did they, should they have kicked that away? 
and ultimately it will be that's a good break up by the southern kings but one might say turnover ball and you kick it away you're not really giving yourselves an enormous chance to score tries oh, i think they've soaked up so much pressure in the last 10 minutes or so that the kings were quite happy to kick it downtown one man who was quite happy was Crescenda Boeta that just rolled into touch. If he had to pick that up, he would have been under enormous pressure from a good Kings chase. Then it would have been a perfect situation for the Kings. Game has become so much about momentum and the Lions have had all the momentum in the last few minutes. This might just change it. Good strong defence, good breakaway from Engelbrecht, good kick. And all of a sudden the Lions will be under pressure on the goal line. Last time they were down here they ran it out and ran it very well indeed. Big question too is when do the coaches produce their replacements? Look at that second half possession. Enormous for the Lions. But a good field position for the Kings right now. Territorially possession stakes all in favour of the Lions. In a real big way. The Kings will be quite happy just for a couple minutes here to not have to defend their goal line like they have for the whole of the second half. A little bit of tape strapping that boot close now for Scott Ferreira. Decent well, crowd, certainly not the sellout we were told it was going to be. That is the western side of the ground. The eastern side saw quite a lot of seats available and the crowd absolutely loving it singing dancing waving their banners and flags the mexican waves been out well martin was that now going very short there crinier it's a more great driving play game by those southern kings loose forwards oh no crinier away for root a good little bit of hands, Bezait and Hout. No oh, and out. it's relief no for the Lions as Stuart Berry's arm no goes up in their favour. So the Lions were guilty early on in the game of giving away penalties and now one might say that the Kings have conceded 13 of them against six Yankees. Try to run this out, try to move the ball side to side, trying to find a little bit of space. The Kings have read it well though. Defended the first ball carry, defended the second one. Scott Ferreira, another penalty against him. Well, the Kings have come away with this ball as Engelbrecht gain. Forceful running by the number eight. Fenta, Whitehead, Murray on the switch. The drive is continued by SP Marrera right up there. Uh, oh dear me, that's a really disappointing end to the move for the Kings. It's the 14th penalty against the Southern Kings. Only six against the Lions. The discipline costing them dearly right now. Most important, it's breaking the momentum, breaking the ability to string a few phases together and try and get front football, try and get some attacking options going. Well, and Murray with a strong carry into the traffic. From the side is the call after the pickup from SP Moret. There is the side entry from Kevin Bass, according to Stuart Berry. Keep that gap black. I always feel a bit for players entering the, the ruck of the mall when they've got to go round a previous tackle, as Bass had to do on that occasion. Root being the main ma go to man for the Lions at line out time. Much better mall, this better body down, position for the Lions. Down. Staying away from the touchline. Well defended too by the Stay Kings down. now. Got the drill working it back to Crenier. Now Yankees. Worked wide by Des Fountain. Buerta. Well laid back for Crenier. Now Yankees once again. They're very flat. And uh, that's good hands. Here goes Yaku Creel. He might go right through the middle. Yaku Creel. Well, the defence stood off. It's cost the Kings to early to some good hands. A couple of the big fellas freed that man away. And boy, he's got some electrifying pace as Yaku Creel. 
And while the defence stood off, he just kept on going, kept on going, made a little show, stepped inside. Over he went, and you can only wonder now, can the Southern Kings come back from this? It certainly is going to be tough. Well read by Anchies, who moved it very quickly. There comes the good hands. Creel now is deciding, should I go, should I go? Defence stood off. Van Bredaar was the man who didn't step forward and make the tackle. In his defence, there was someone on the outside. And Yaku Creel, we spoke before the game about how influential he is and can be. And look at that, the show. He's in. And is that the Lions into Super Rugby 2014? Well, it's still a plus and a half. Well, what have we got here? We've got uh, 25 minutes to go. And the Kings now. have 14 points to make up. Yeah, it's a big gap now. Every point becomes important. Certainly too early for the Lions to start celebrating. They're producing one or two replacements now. Martin Dreyer has come onto the field. So also Robbie could see it. But real eyes now on Elton Yankees. He's picked up his rhythm, he's picked up his tee and he's added another two. Well, the Kings much too tight in the defence. One pass, taking out three, but the pace of this man outstrips the cross-cover defence. Van Rudol had no price. The Lions extend their lead. Well, I think one's got to, got to say a little bit of inexperience there because when you... The golden rule is you've got to make the ball carrier pass the ball because there can always be a mistake. Halbach recovering. Well, he said backwards the referee must have got the call from his assistant on the far side, Jason Yafta. Franklin on for the Southern Kings, the hard, toughest teak replacement hooker. Worsthausen, Devon Worsthausen on as we see that little knock again gone straight down but I think it is a knock on you can see the look on Dion Elberg's face knows just how important every single moment is and Vili Brits with that unmistakable mop of hair well he's a good leader Vili Brits the captain of the University of the Free State in Varsity Cup already just uh, with his encouragement I might say that Mona's are well represented on both sides here this evening the power scrum again from the Lions that's where it's turned out Engel Brecht couldn't control Brits has uh, worked it up now Yankees gets it away now there's an exciting combination of Britta and Foreman Britta it's Foreman who got the other one now it's uh, Stockies Hanakon, Trenier, Yankees, well led by him, Veli Brits, now on the outside, Franco from Amalva looming, but it comes to all, Derek Money, Trenier again, Yankees, now to the sort of dictating situations, good continuity by Van Rensburg, the skipper, here comes Yankees again, the crowd going mad, very nearly intercepting, would that have been another little twist in the tail that but the line certain, certainly turning it on now the yeah. power scrumming rob i think's worked it for them well, it certainly has the replacements haven't helped the kings and just the way they're running look at the enthusiasm the coach is finally getting some light of day between himself and super rugby and this ball needed to go didn't it sure strength and pace from chris underbote he had numbers outside to be fair to Jacques Engelbrecht having knocked it on at the scrum he got back to make the tackle Espy Marais I think he was covered by Boeta the knock on nonetheless leaves the lines of the ball and momentum right now not just from the scrum not just at the scrum very much in favour of the home team well those two fellows in picture there Boeta and uh, Anthony Fulman who have formed an extremely exciting combination during the course of the season real pace between the two of them and they understand each other well enough to know where each other is interlinking the passing good 
They'll be hoping for a bit more quality ball now as this game's starting to open up. Well, the roar of the crowd making it very difficult for players to hear the calls, the signals and the moves. I continue from experience that you cannot hear a guy standing seven meters away. Not when the crowd is vocal they are at the moment. But stranger things have happened. Still just under 21 minutes to go. Well, there's an all-in wrestling match going in the front row there, Crenier, Yankees. We saw a little opening oh. there and got the forwards no, no. on the front foot. That's what they can do when they do go onto the front foot, gain the ground. You see, they're still on the front foot. Gunsoff and Rensburg working it back. The Lions working, working, Release. working here. Oh. Release Black! When the arm is out, penalty, the way of the Lions, I think if they kick this one over, it could be yeah, the ball game. Quite possibly, Matt Sexton, you may well be thinking that as well. It was a good little changing tactics from the Lions. Four or five pick and goes on the trot, ensuring those fringe defenders were kept honest. Gained a couple of metres here, a couple of metres there, but ultimately putting enormous pressure on the Kings defence. And as a result, eventually the penalty coming. I understand. I also understand the situation that you have. The Good ball strong work from the Lions forwards. Strong work from the big fellas making the hard yards. It was just that little dart from Elton Yankees that got the Lions onto the front foot, which basically won them the penalty because suddenly the Kings were under pressure on defence. And again, it was made easier by the fact that the Lions scrum has been going forward, putting the Kings' defence on the back foot with those defenders standing back five meters real little penetration from that man he's had a much better second half so this will take it up to a difference of 19 points you need to hurry it up a bit Tim and then Matt Sexton will be thinking that his team has struggled to score tries for the bulk of the season it might be a hurdle too far here at Ellis Park in front of a hostile crowd. The 19 points because of the seven that the Lions brought into the game from last week's result. Just the two steps and missed. From the minute he's, he kicked it, the fans didn't like it either. Whitehead looking for as much ground as possible. Cronier, it's Guy Cronier who's on the park. Not a bad up and under, chased by Billy Brits. Up went Whitehead. Back, number seven in front of the kicker. Number seven. Derek Minnie just marginally ahead of Billy Brits. And marginally ahead of the kicker too. So... The Kings looking to gain a little bit of ground there. Now the big thing is, do you kick for goal? Do you kick for touch? The game to kick for touch. Have to do that. Well, we said stranger things have happened. That's a good kick. It's a very good kick. So look at this. Derek Mini is just ahead of the kicker. And undoubtedly offside. Willie Brits puts him onside, but by then he's made the charge from an offside position. He's not entitled to make the chase. So Silly well done, mistake. Murray being replaced by Shane Gates. Turn back on. Shane Gates will take up the inside centre position. Good line out. Not in straight. Disappointing for Stephen Sykes there. Hannes Franklin, there he is over 200 first class games, but he couldn't get it straight. You can just tell that Sykes jumping and reaching to the inside. How skewed the throw was. A little apology there from Hannes. 
Charles Duplessis in the number 17 jersey taking up the tight head top position. Again, the line showing the power in the scrum, the line drifts to burst away. Good cover tackle there by Cornel Dupriel. Trenier on the front foot, go the lines with the drive up towards the halfway line. They've broken the south bar again. Power scrumming, Yankees has knocked it on, needs to concentrate. As it's snapped up by Gates. And then Ferreira, now it comes away, oh that's beautifully read by Hanakon, but the whistle is gone, the players haven't heard it. To be fair to Elton it was Not a dreadful it. pass from Cunier, bounced and skipped just in front of him. We heard earlier that it is a little bit dewy down there and the, the skip and turn came very quickly and awfully difficult to collect this ball, look at this. On the ground, skipping on his knees. Very tough one. A huge noise down there, Rob Kempson. No, that there definitely is. The crowd tasting, the sensing a victory here for the Lions. And the Southern Kings scrum really in a lot of pressure. And definitely going to be right now again. Jason Yanks from Rensburg. He's got his side up and he's really driven that back backwards. Well, will they make a difference. Franklin, Duplessis, Sykes Cut. in the front five. Six. Well, that's a much better scrum for the Kings. Fenter gets it away to Mavere, then to Parks. We'll check that, we'll check that. Hold. Was it forward? Fenter. And that dart by Wursthausen. He really does run very strongly. The referee saying that they will check that forward pass. Great hands by watch it again. Gates. Taking one tackle, working up towards the five meter line. Now he's lost the third. Here we go. Now I'm not sure why the referee has called him back. Was there infringement? It looks like Anthony Foreman has pulled a hamstring in the process. And 45,000 people decide that they will do. Penalty for a dangerous tackle. Oh, he's got cramped. Be a shame if he's pulled a hamstring following yeah, a spectator try. It really would be. I talked about Boerter, I talked uh, about four months that time it was Boerter who raced away. Yes. I didn't see what happened 13 red. So, yeah. so it's foul play. Yep. Right, Sean. We have a dangerous tackle from what we believe is 13 red. Can you please put it up on the big screen and let's make a decision? Okay. So Stocky's Anacom is going to have his tackle displayed on the big screen. Well, he's lifted. He's the, the problem. The problem is not that he's tip tackled him. The problem is that he's not put him down safely. He's dropped him when he realised it was going beyond right, the 90. Thank you. Which 13. in itself is a problem. I think that's going to be a yellow 13. card. Stuart. Yeah, Shona. Are you going to make the decision yourself? Yes, I'm happy okay. to. I'm happy with what I've seen. Okay. You have lifted him. You have twisted him. You haven't brought him back down. It's a yellow card for a dangerous tackle. So it will be 10 minutes off the park for Stocky's Hanukkah. Been one of the stars in the Lions' backline in recent weeks. Might just be the recipe and the tonic that the Southern Kings need just to kickstart them to attack against the backline, missing one player. I was going to ask Robbie Kempson, he knows the squad, he knows the, the way they play, where their points are going to come from. But the fact now that the Lions are one short in defence will certainly help the visitors' cause. So not over yet, well taken by Bullbring. Now in the hands of Duclair. Stay bound, Red, stay bound. Promising more by the Use Southern Kings. Pops out though for Fenton, so they've lost a little bit of momentum. Good tackle back to Nier. Kiel was up there as well. The Kings will get the advantage. Fenter, hang on breath, the go-to man in this situation. Still advantage for the Kings. Now it's Franklin. 
Good uh, barging play here by the Kings. Bull bring. Tackled by Creel. Fenter gets again. A good decides to go on his own. Very nearly over. Timely tackle by Janse van Rensburg. Can the Kings get seven points here? Release now, Red! Huge numbers to the right for the Kings. Almost un undefensible here by the Lions, and it's Scott Ferreira who dashes it over the goal line. And real just award. Good enterprise, good continuity, great ball retention. You can see what it means to that man. You know exactly what it means to his team. There is still time. This contest and this game are not over just yet. Well left as well. Sean Fenter started it with a sniping run. He's made the clever little pass there. Some strong ball carrying, some good clearing out. Bullbring made a good run. The Lions defense was stretched. They are one short. Look at that for a dummy and go. Thought he was going to get awfully close, almost able to stretch out, and then came the little charge from Ferreira. The conversion is good, and it's going to go down to the wire still. So, very, very tense indeed. Two points in this game the difference and very nearly 11 minutes to go the Lions one man short Yankees and a chance for Whitehead to gain a lot of ground here yeah, it's a super kick by him won't, yes it has gone out right back where they want to be are the Southern Kings maybe a little inexperience from Kusanda Burtasche in there not guarding the touchline the ball bounced it's a huge gainer for the Kings Anthony Fulman is still on the field so it couldn't have been a, a pulled hammy throw in by Robbie Kutsia Franco van der Merve in mid-line out goes to Hendrik Rurt and is stolen David Baldring doing great work there for the Southern Kings two tries to the Lions one try to the Southern Kings so not like looking like getting a try bonus point here the penalty going away the, of the visitors Whitehead will kick for goal, they know they've got eight points to make up. Tight angle, nothing to really work with. Not able to get it down there into more try scoring. So this is a great steal from Bulgren. He's got up high, he's got up in front of Ritt. Managed to make the steal and then he's processed the ball pretty well. Devin Wurstazen also on the park, so all four of the replacement forwards on for the Kings. Good front of line out work by Dupria. Robbie could see it going in hard. He's got to be careful he doesn't go in at the side of that mall. Now Fenta working it away for Whitehead. Oh, it's well read there by Dion Halbach. Makes the stopping tackle and now Janssen from Rensburg bursting away and leading from the front. And relief for the Lions and big relief I can tell you it will be for them Southern Kings will be disappointed they haven't turned this little surgeon into the Lions territory into points Darren now with a little perplexed look on his face this is Gates who came around the corner there he was well met and the ball ripped free as captain courageous for the last time carries it on and drives the Lions out of the danger zone and I wonder Matt Sexton looks disappointed game I said it earlier it's all about momentum little loss of concentration the ball ripped up and the Kings lose that precious momentum they had very experienced Stephen Sykes on the park many super rugby matches for the Sharks and the Lions no, in no real rush to get the 
the game underway again. Quite happy to wind the scoreboard down. Eight minutes to go. Well, the Southern Kings need another steal. They need it desperately in this situation in the park. They won't get it. Well taken by Franco van der Merva. Well, when Stuart Berry shouts, use it eventually, he's going to have to bellow. Great ball this by the Lions. They're moving up. You can see the 22-meter line in picture there. Yes, it's still going. Still going. Gaining ground. They might move this ball about 20, 22 meters. Now bursting away is Yaku Creel. Who loses the ball in contact. Fenta. Can he make something of this? Gets it away to Gates. Gates is bursting away. Superb ball now. Brutter gets back. Where's Gates going to pass it? Can he pass it? Gets it up. Fenter away for Whitehead. Now for Ronnie Cook. This is Marais. And it will be Fender now who gets the five-pointer. Well, turnover ball. End-to-end -end stuff. The crowd are silenced. The Kings are right back in this. Max Sexton will be a man who's happy. Fumberdahl gets some more points this evening. I thought that Gates had maybe butchered it at one point. It was very well cleared by Sean Fenton. Look at this. This is where it all starts. Good, strong Kings defence. The ball is stripped out of the hands of Yaku Krill. And the presence of mind to move it wide quickly without throwing one pass that skips away all the advantage. And then Gates showed some good pace down the middle. There was a moment I thought he was going to go the distance. Good chasing back from Crescenda Buerta. Look at this for an important clearance. This is the, the little clearance from the base that set it all up. Good quick hands. Good vision. Ronnie Cook realizing it was on on the outside. Simple hands enough to do it. The Lions crowd are stunned and silent. Fambridar, two points. The points, points important. Three the difference. This to make it a five point lead for the Southern Kings. They'll still trail by two in the overall situation. Tries are not a factor at the moment. Fambridar, beauty! Fatal kick. Huge kick. Huge. Absolutely enormous. Five points now, the difference. A penalty or a drop goal will seal it for the Kings. That kick had not gone through. It would have been a try needed. Now it's a kick. This is the ball going on wide. Ronnie Cook, just the present mind and that final pass. This will often be butchered and from Bedard gets it down. All to play for, for both sides now in the final five. Can hear the tension in Robbie Kempson's voice. A man from the Eastern Cape involved in the academy. The chase coming from Anthony Fulman. He got a hand on it. Pressure here, but Fumbrid dies done well. They'll scrum down. Just less than five minutes to go. I'm just having a look now because remember, of course, that Lions defense are a man short. And boy, has it cost them two tries. 14 points. Try is not a factor at the moment. If they're all tied up at, at the end of the game in terms of points difference, then it's the side that scored the most tries at the moment. They both scored four tries in the two encounters. As it stands now, the Lions will go through. If the Southern Kings get another score, they will go through. Much better scrum for them. The tight five who have come, well, the tight forwards who have come on have done a good job. Just a desperate search for ground by Whitehead. And a good, ooh, that's not out. It's Engelbrecht. Chase up there quickly by Fulman. Dan Buerta. The Lions have got it. Robbie could see her. Now can the Lions get it out? They're driving it on still. And with could see her again. The Lions, they're all calling for it on the far side. It comes for Franco van der Merva. And we'll dart on the inside by Des Fountain. Trunier. Yankees away for could see her. 
playing through it is with driven by Sachs. Black, you've got it. Hold. Trunier, they'll drive this forward. Warren Tecklenburg on the park for the Please, Lions. Go. Trunier again. The whiff gets it from Root. Now it's Yankees. Little dummy. Tess Fountain takes it to ground. All the Lions at the moment in the drive forward. Desperate oh. defense here from the Southern Kings. Tecklenburg swirling but held at the moment. Ripped with the drive. Janser van Rensburg will rip it back. Trunier, Brits, Billy Brits. Oh, and he drove for the line again. Desperate by the Kings. Another drive. And it's the referee is saying it is accidental offside. Scrum to the Southern Kings. Oh, it's going down to the wire. Two minutes to go. Full quotient of players going to be on both sides. This is the little accidental offside driving into Alton Yanchis and the Kings are going to have to firstly win a big scrum and then they're going to have to go 100 meters if they're going to stay in Super Rugby. Stockies Hanakom back on the park, Rob Kempson on the park down on the field. Well, the tension is it's tangible down here for both sides, both benches not quite sure what to do with themselves at the moment and an all-important scrum. The Kings scrum has been under pressure in this game and actually turned the tide in the Lions favor and they've got a big one, just five metres out. Well, no doubt the instruction will be from Matt Sexton. You've got to run this ball. Less than two minutes to go. You can see how the Southern Kings are lining up inside their own in goal area. The Lions' back's very flat. The clock is ticking again. Will the Lions be able to produce one of their power scrums? Will the Southern Kings be able to hold them? They need it very quickly and the penalty goes the way of the Kings. They'll need to boot this down the park. Whitehead. Looking for as much ground as Pauwi hasn't found touch. Kept in by Foreman, but they've carried it back, so Buerta has to be careful. They'll combine nicely here. Foreman goes on the inside, sets it up for the Lions. Can they keep possession for just over a minute or 70 odd seconds? Yankees away by Des Fountain over the top. How bad? It's still alive and well grabbed there by Des Fountain. He went to the tackle player and ripped it away. Now with Trunier, this is Yankees. Nice little step by him. Lions need to maintain the ball in possession. Stay home. Kings desperate to get position. Numbers outside here for the Lions as they burst away by Tecklenburg. Back in the Southern Kings half. Hanakom involved in the situation. Desperate stuff by both sides. Half a minute to go now. Franco van der Merva. Release. Five points the difference. And a penalty to the Lions could wrap it up. Everybody's starting to celebrate here yeah, as they're at 15. Well, going down to 10 to go. Disappointment for Matt Sexton. The Lions are going to win the combined promotion relegation game the southern kings will probably win this game here tonight so heartbreak for the losers let's go please and great relief i would think for the winners just to confirm time is up well that's it robbie kempson your thoughts the Lions, they fought by me. It definitely was the scrum that turned around. And that man, J.C. Janssen Rensburg, he might be departing the shores, but he put the impetus into this game by that massive scrum that got the turnover for him. And the victory going into the favour of the Lions. Well, they say it could be worth 100 million rand. The crowd have come out here in Johannesburg, Ellis Park today to support their side. One might say it would be really nice if they did it more often during the entire season. Hendrik Ruert is overcome with the tension and emotion. The game being played in a very sporting situation after a very tense 
start. It has been fantastic to see this massive crowd here at Ellis Park turning out to cheer their side on. One must spare a thought for the Southern Kings. Promotion relegations are never a pleasant situation. But the Lions have had an outstanding season. They've only lost one game in the last three months. And they've kept their winning momentum going. One might say they had the better of the second half. The Southern Kings never gave up. They kept coming and kept coming. Scored that try, converted by from Bridar. You can see just what it means to them at full time with the Southern Kings winning this game by 23 to 18, but going out of Super Rugby.